change of sport to badminton. Before the games began, the home nation was confident of doing well in the competition. They certainly lived up to expectations with Malaysia guaranteed the gold and silver in the men's singles. Yong Hok Kin beat England's Darren Hall in the semi-finals and now faces his teammate Wong Chung Han in the final. Our commentators are Mike Ford and Jill Clark. The match is underway. They'll bring us right up to date. So the favourite of these two Malaysian players, Yon Hok Kin, nearest to us. He was the number two seed here in the men's singles event. Well, he's in a little bit of trouble at the moment, the younger player. Three points in the lead. Morton Frost, the coach to the Malaysian team. <laughs> well, no wonder he's smiling. Guaranteed of gold and silver. And now the more experienced John Hopkin is really getting into his stride. But Mike, it was a fantastic start by the younger man, Wong Chun Han. Yes, it was indeed. But I think that Yong has now decided that uh, he's controlled the game um, for a little bit too long. And he needs to take command of it now. And that sense of urgency is coming to him. You can see that he actually left the gap in that last rally for the net shot to be played and then pounced in it knowing it was coming. So now just two points adrift for the number two seed, 7-9 in this opening game. Well, he may have netted the return, Jan Hopkin. But interesting Nine, tactics seven. because the younger man has been smashing down his forehand side and he's been trying to play it straight. That time he tried to play it cross court. Yes, I think he realizes that the block straight has been pounced on by Wong, who's coming in very quickly after his smash to take off the top of the net. Wong well changed that attack again in that rally with the cross court. And it's a little bit disconcerting sometimes for players when what has been working for them, their, their winning tactics, suddenly doesn't, doesn't work anymore. Yes, indeed. It's, it's very often players have a sequence of shots which they enjoy playing and they think will work. And if they overplay that tactic, then the opponent gets used to it and starts to read it very early. Eight, nine. While well, he's clawing his way back. Five, nine down at one stage. Now there's just one point in it. Oh, that's amazing. The power this man generates. Wong Chun Han. The 21-year-old from Kuala Lumpur. Well, he, his smashes have been terrific today. They have been absolutely incredible. Not just the power of them, but the accuracy has been so, so close to those lines. Well, perhaps Wong Chun Han feeling the pressure to play as accurate, a very accurate shot netting the block of course when your opponent's so fast you know you have to, to get the shuttle as tight as possible to the net absolutely you can't leave any margin Seven, for this man nine, to come eight. in and pick off the top of the tape they've got to be within an inch inch and a half of the top of the tape nine eight Well, again, going for a very ambitious Seven, shot. Eight, nine. He really worked hard for the short lift there. At the very last second, just took his eye off the shuttle. Do you think at times he's too adventurous? I think he's got to take risks, Jill, to be honest with you. I think that's, that, that's the plan to win this game. It's really take the game to Yang Hock King. Yes, 
which he was doing in that rally and doing very successfully. And I suspect Nine, you're right, Mike, eight. because, of course, these two players have met each other before very recently in the quarterfinal of the Singapore Open. And the more experienced of the two men, Yon Hok Kin, won in two straight games. In fact, very easily, 15-8, 15-2. So, of course, oh, Yon, the favourite for this final, eight, but Wong Chun Han, well, he's got nothing to lose. No, absolutely. All the pressure's on Yon Hok Kin. And he's a rallying player. He's not going to make the mistakes. And I think that if Wong gets in contact with him in, in a rallying game, then Yong is going to come out on top. So he's really got to be taking these risks. But hit the shuttle a bit more positively than that. Well, in the early stages, he certainly was. But he didn't seem to get behind that one. No, he was very, very late reacting to that shot, and it wasn't a particularly good lift. Nine all. Now, we haven't really seen the net game come into play all that much so far in this singles. We haven't indeed, no. They've been pushing to the back of the court, keeping these pump clears in. And, of course, an awful lot of attacking play from Wong at the moment in downward direction. But I think Wong actually wants to keep Yong Ho Keng away from the net because that's one of his strengths in his game. He can play very tight tumbling net shots. Oh, that's amazing. Wonderful shots. And so difficult when you're Ready, jumping nine. backwards to then hit the shuttle and in totally the opposite direction there, transferring the body weight. Oh, incredible reactions. Yes, no, that, that was actually just... It, just off the top of his head, in fact. And how he actually saw it, let alone hit it, I don't know. Yes, the ability to crouch down low. The Malaysia's in training do an awful lot of very fast fed shuttles, multi feeding, we call it. Where a coach will stand there with 60 assembly shuttles and just throw them into the air and hammer them at the player who's standing on his base. And he just must return as many of them as he can. And that's what builds up reactions like that. surprise Mike why Yong Hopkin is continuing to lift the shuttle down the backhand side of Wong Chun Han because he's so accurate with that round the head smash yes I mean he's smashing from from that corner down the line and cross cut and continually getting winners so why he hasn't started moving more towards the forehand corner I don't know It's noticed that he hasn't moved his base slightly across and slightly further forward to try and pick these smashes up. 10-9. Well, a much more positive rally from Yong Hok Kin. 9-10 suddenly he chose to do some attacking. Yes, and he showed how fast he actually is coming into the net there, taking that shuttle very, very early on the tape. That's why he's persevering with the lift down the backhand side. Once he does force Wong Chun Han to play the backhand, then of course, Yon Hok Kin gains the advantage. But it's awfully risky. It is a risky ploy. But as you say, they know each other's game very, very well. And I'm sure that he's got some sort of plan in his mind. It's all level again, 10 all. Well, 
I still think the only way to counteract this is really not to lift it down that backhand side. Well, you certainly pay the price and put in two lifts on the trot down to that side. Do you think he, he ought to be perhaps moving Wang Chun Han forward and back more? Yes, I think he needs to draw him into the net uh, on his forehand side a bit more to get him away from that corner to open it up so if he can get it on the backhand side by moving him out of position. And all well and good. Wang Chun Han taking the shot off very late at the net. Almost off the Head floor there. Desperation shot to try the cross court net. Oh, that's brilliant. 11 10. You see Yon Ha King here actually pulling him in the forehand side and then exposing his backhand side. No chance to get around behind it, hit it. And that wayward lift really forced by the quality of the net shot. I'm just wondering whether there is, in fact, a weakness on that forehand net from Wang Chun Han. Yes, he certainly made a few mistakes in that in that area. I think Yong Ho King is now starting to grasp that and playing far more shots to that area, particularly at crucial times. 11-10. Yes, when he's forced to turn and play that high backhand, he's in all sorts of trouble. Yes, obviously a shot he's not used to playing very often. Okay. Uh, being around the head player with an, course, an enormous jump. And that does seem to be proving a little bit of flaw in his game. Well, Phil James from England, the umpire, having a quick word with Wong Chun Han. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Good experience shown by Wong Chun Han, despite only being 21 years of age. Just taking a quick time out as well. Giving himself a chance to recompose his thoughts. And in fact, it affected the more experienced man, the more making the error on serve, Yon Hock Kin. And he really isn't quite as consistent well, or accurate with the f with the smash from the forehand side no indeed he's quite a tall player for a malaysian and he does get up really high to take that shuttle early he seems to take his eye off it on that forehand side oh. a little over anxious to finish off the rally snatching at the shot 13, 10. But you see Yong Ho King here actually reading that shot and almost enticing him to play it straight at him. And then squatting down and playing a nice flat panhandle defence off it to push it over Wong's head. Again, incredible reactions. 13-10. It's quite obvious now why Jon Hopkin wanted to really try and push deep in that backhand corner. It's game point. And that's wide. And Jon Hopkin, the number two seed, has taken the opening game in 28 minutes of play. 15-10 confirmation of that score. But he had to come back from a 5-9 deficit early on. 
while well, the smash had been serving Wong Chun Han so well at the early stages. But just losing his way a little bit. He, he seemed to almost know that eventually Yong Hok Kin would come back. And I mean, if these two men are playing each other in practice every day, and if you keep losing every day, even in practice, it's very difficult come to the match situation to then turn that around. It's certainly a huge barrier. And, and of course, he, I think he stuck to his game plan very, very well then and didn't start pulling to that forehand side of the net until he really needed the points, until it was 8-9 in the first game, and then he had a flurry of three or four points by exposing the backhand side, pulling Wong over to the forehand side of the net, exposing his backhand, and pushing it on his backhand, and of course got error after error from that particular time.